Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. Today I have a pleasure to share with you another knife from Brother Knives. So this is one of uh, my favorite uh, traditional uh, style knife uh, manufacturer from China. The first place definitely uh, goes to Rough Rider, but the second one is right there with uh, with brother. So this is the model number 1507 This is the one uh, That I did not purchase way back maybe last year or so uh, when they re did released it So obviously we have a nice uh, canvas uh, cloth and By now I have uh, so many of these that I could probably make some kind of uh, my carta So we will see <laughs> okay, packaging is uh, perfect. You have nicely packaged it, and also it's wrapped in this uh, almost I would say rice paper. So definitely uh, it is nicely and protected. Uh, it has it has uh, just a smooth coating of oil to be protective while in travel because uh, yes we all know that what can happen if the knife sits in a damp uh, warehouse for a few months and then it will be shipped around the world for another two months and then you will receive it in the nice and uh, rusty <laughs> okay like my all my previous videos uh, I did uh, give a great excellent uh, preview uh, for these uh, traditional brother knives they are uh, really stepping up their game they're high quality uh, good price and just uh, beautifully made and with the good materials so let me give you a quick uh, specifications so let me put the knife down so we have an oval length of 17.7 uh, centimeters or 7 inches the blade length is 8.3 centimeters or 3.2 inches the cutting edge is 7.5 centimeters or 2.9 inch the blade thickness is uh, 3 millimeters or 0 0.12 inches the blade width is 2 centimeters or 0 0.8 inches the handle length is 9.8 centimeters or 3.8 inches the handle width is 2, 2 centimeters or 0 0.8 inches the handle thickness is one centimeter or 0 0.4 inch we have uh, steel on the bolsters on the liner the washers are copper and the blade uh, steel used is vg10 with a 60 to 61 hrc the inlays are carbon fiber and aligned uh, with stainless steel of course this is a uh, stainless steel backlog construction, so you have to push the button, of course, to uh, disengage the lock and close the knife. Let me show you this, uh, the centering. So I would say it's almost perfect, maybe a half of a millimeter to the left, but definitely nothing noticeable. The transitions are really nice and smooth. I hope you can see that uh, definitely they give you a really nice quality control product I also have to say so this is real carbon fiber not the peel ply version that some companies are using the shield uh, is a sword with a uh, made out of stainless steel of course You have a long uh, nail pull on here. And I would say the back spring is uh, medium to light, which is a pleasure to operate, of course. Certainly, this is the back lock, so they had have not to had to pull uh, put inside a nail buster. So on the presentation side, we have the brother logo, one knife, one life, definitely not applies to me and the VG10 here so 
So this is your, I would say, uh, standard clip saber blade. Maybe also called a Lenny clip. Okay, so the last uh, bit of information about the specifications I forgot is, of course, uh, the weight. It counts in 82 grams or 2.9 ounces. I will skip the pocket profile, if you excuse me. There is no pocket clip, so uh, it's definitely uh, not necessary to show you it uh, hidden inside the pocket but let me show you the sharpness test so definitely we have uh, a toothy edge which is nice service edge with good sharpness don't get me wrong definitely with uh, maybe a uh, leather strap it could uh, get even better but good edge on that one okay so now uh, let me show you few size comparisons let me bring out a few uh, brother knives okay so this is the 1503 which was uh, my first uh, brother uh, from uh, this new line of traditional knives that they uh, released back in I would say 2019 maybe late 18 who knows so here's the size comparisons and here is the uh, previous one that I featured here on my channel the 1508 CF So now, uh, yes, there is also a blue one, which is not featured here, but uh, just wait, uh, I did order the newest one that they released, finally with my carta, so sneak peek information. <laughs> and uh, when it arrives, I will make obviously presentation video and then uh, maybe, maybe, so fingers crossed at the end of the year, uh, I will try to make a collection update uh, just about Brother Knife, so we'll, I will feature all of them uh, in one video, so stay tuned for that. But if you are interested in these knives, then uh, check out my Brother Knife playlist. And now let us continue. let us continue uh, I just check if there is a maker's mark because some of their designs are collaborations with different knife makers but this one looks like in the house is a traditional design so uh, who knows who was the first who invented it okay so let me bring on the table the by now well-known tribal log from case Where is my peanut? Okay, here's the... Peanut... The... The Midnight Swirl uh, Stockman. I... Sometimes I forget these, uh, these patterns. Here is the toothpick pattern from Buck. And now uh, let us put on the table also a few more modern variants. So uh, this is one beautiful option uh, that I can strongly recommend. This is the CVV Rustic Gent. 
uh, hopefully hopefully I can get my hands on the palatial trail or how it's called the the new version or it is the same knife but it is only a slip joint uh, without the lock with uh, different kind of full my carter scale so definitely beautiful knife so I hope to get one and stay tuned to to see it okay so they look uh, almost the same size wise okay more uh, usual suspects here on my channel obviously blue reptilian small reptilian large reptilian Delica Bug Vintage Select The small one and Bug Vintage Pro uh, full size uh, Here's also a Bug Sprint Pro in Berla Micarta Just because I have love Micarta <laughs> And also Kaiser Pinch with the brown Chinese Markarta and Kershaw Shuffle 2 brown and also the Kershaw Skyline so there is your nice so different variants of knives you can you can um, maybe it is a good possibility you own one of these knives so you can gauge the the size Okay, so this was the Brother uh, 1507, that is uh, one more to go and probably uh, the year 2020 will be uh, closed and uh, I will see with uh, high expectations what they will bring out uh, next year, so who knows. Okay, so if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I put the link uh, down below uh, where I always buy my brother knives from the reseller Runley Express. It is a, a good uh, reseller. I had not no problems with him. I'm buying from from him maybe a past uh, year, year and a half. So there was definitely no problems. Uh, if you are interested in other uh, brother knives, then definitely check out the playlist. And with that, I I would like to wish you a wonderful day. And see you soon here on my channel. Bye.